I do feel a little bit sad. I do feel a bit let down. I feel worried. I feel horrible. Um, I just feel sorry. Not even for you guys, really. Um, where do I start? Where do I start with this rant? Um, the past 43 days have been great. I've been very, very enjoying everything. Seriously. I mean, I, this, this entire... This entire whatever we've got going on with this Canadian era where I've been live for 43 days in a row. Yeah, you might have had your streams you didn't like, but for the most part, it's been great. It's been special. It's been great. And if you've been enjoying it, if you've been pretty much, you know, locked in and fucking with the era, put it down in the chat, man. Um, it, it started off very well. Very, very good. With Cuffum and, 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 and with Combi and just motivating one another and... Obviously, stuff got tied up and all these things, and I'm not even gonna ride anybody's dick at all, or 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 even talk about what went wrong. But you know, my mission now um, is to obviously just look, man. Like I want this is this is the truth. I wanted to finish up these 61 days, take a big break from steak, and 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 and, and do something very very special for the for the viewers and. Just do some cool shit, bro. Just do some cool shit. Um, because as you guys know, I mean, steak, when I lose, or fuck up my mood. You want a happy, positive Aiden. Um, and you guys deserve it. You really do. Um, I just think, like, that was my whole entire goal. I wanted to grind as a group. I didn't really necessarily want to go dolo anymore. Because just, just for the fact that, like, I... My whole job, my, my, my mission in the beginning of the year, you could look back at it in December when I talked about this, I said, I want to I wanna have a good group of friends around me that have fun together and we lock in together and we create good streams together and content. It's very easy if I wanted to lock back in my, my element, I can move, whether it's Miami or I can move wherever and lock back in solo dolo and fucking plan streams and do, that, do these little runs and stuff. That's not really what what really gets me going anymore, though. Like my, my my whole thing is, you know, since I've been streaming for years, I just love helping people and building opportunity. So, um, what I'm gonna do, and I'm speaking for myself, and I'm also speaking for my friends. You guys know, once I stop steak, my friends' steak deals are all gone, right? You guys understand that, right? Like, you guys may question yourself, why do all your friends have deal? It's because of me. So when I stop. Let's just say if when I stop this, they're going to have to stop too. So I think the issue is like when money is a factor and a driver and all these things, it's like it, it, it kind of complicates things. So I spoke with Combi today. I, I had a conversation with him. We spoke and uh, Combi's not going to be on ban for a very long time. Um, you know, Combi obviously like, yo, when I'm, when I'm on ban, like, you know, about talk about steak. I'm still got a couple weeks. That shit's out the window. Because if I'm not doing it, there's no steak deal. There's no steak deal. Um, at all. And I just think that, like, even even when we did Steak US, I'm just I'm gonna just give you an example. I don't think I'm gonna do Steak US either. But even when we did Steak US, like, the content was focused. You know what I mean? Like it was just it wasn't like my brain wasn't itching to gamble. <laughs> I was just kind of just like, oh, fuck, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, whatever, whatever about it. So, you know, I'm going to wrap this shit up by myself. Um, Sneeko's got to go be somewhere for a little while and then Sneeko's going to come back. But I'm going to wrap up this air by myself. We got, we got no Cuffum, no Convy. We got Sneeko that's going to come back. He said he'd help me finish this air up. He's just going to take some family time and do some shit. So me and Sneeko are going to finish this up together. And then um, with that being said, I, I'm, I'm going to leave Canada. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what I want to do. And I'm going to do things that make sense that what my community want. Um, and that's that. And that's that, man. I, I, I'm, here to, I'm here to find a way to... I'm not going back to LA, guys. I'm sorry. I won't do it. I thought about it. It's, it, it I, I, I wouldn't be happy. Um, it's not a good place. It's very overrated. People are not happy there. Um, I'm sorry, but my mental is what matters the most. I actually agree with what Banks said. Uh, he said, Aiden, sticking to one place and being there is not the move. I'm not going to go buy a house in LA. I'm not going to go rent the house in LA. I'll, I'll stay in LA for like a week at a time and do shit and then go.
go somewhere else. I don't think that's the move, man. I I, I don't even think like Miami's the move. I think I think rotating, constantly changing scenery, and constantly traveling is the move. Honestly, for the best, for the best content nowadays, it's not the same as it was. I'm sorry, guys, but I just don't agree with residing in LA. Most people in LA are, are unhappy and they're unfulfilled, um, and I will not suck get myself sucked back into that life. I'm sorry, guys. Um, that's just not what I want to do. Um, so that's that. You know, at least in Miami, I have my family and my friends and all this stuff and all that stuff. So when I go back there, it's like, I, you know, I'll have everything that I want. But, you know, obviously, it's tough. It's tough. You guys like Vegas. It, it'd be just kind of cool if I were to basically just, I don't know, maybe maybe lease a jet and just you guys pick where we go type shit. But who knows? That's probably going to be too expensive out of my out of my catalog. I'm not as rich as you guys think I am. But guys, um, LA is just not what it would what, what it would be since 2020. I'm sorry, guys. It's not the same, man. Um, even everyone just everyone's just out of that place, you know, for for a reason. That place fucking sucks. Um, but yeah, dude. I I yeah. Well, I spoke to Neon. I gave Neon the idea. I said Neon said, Aiden, what do I do? I, uh, you know, I gave him the idea, dude. Look, um, you need to travel uh, in your in your in your subathon. I said, bro, go to after LA, do Vegas, and then go to New York, and then go to Miami. I told him like, switch your shit up. You know, neon shit. I watch it. It's great. I see clips. It's great. It's going well for him, and I think it's very very good. And I think he needs to keep doing it, and I think he needs to keep going. But you see what I told Neon is you got to keep changing scenery. You got to keep changing it up. So when he goes and to other places, stuff like that's big for him. So, that's that. Um, so as far as stuff goes, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna bring back a lot of. I wanna actually bring back. I'm not gonna go. I, what What is Aiden Ross's streams gonna look like after these 61 days? Well, a lot of you guys will probably miss this Canada area because I, this is gonna be the last time I'm ever this consistent ever. But just be real with you guys. Probably for a long time, unless I'm inspired by something or like a game or something. There's really no point. So what I plan on doing now after this uh, six, shit was asked, well, don't worry. If you didn't like it, you're going to like what I'm going to bring. But as far as the uh, 61 straight days, you're not going to ever receive that again. Sorry. Um, but what I can tell you, you, you will get, I don't even think I'm going to be doing streams where I'm at my desktop and just reacting to shit and playing games. Uh, once I start in this new era of what I want to do, I'm going to basically... Uh, Never really be able to play games. Never really do anything. I'm not going to be that consistent. You might get maybe three, four streams a week from me. But every stream that I do, there's going to be a very, very, very good segment planned. Um, and, and and this is kind of what I want to be on. I'm, I'm not going to basically be on that. And look, guys, it's like for anyone putting L's right now and all that stuff, we good off all of that. You didn't like this Canada era. You, 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 ha you constantly bash it every day. So I have to take feedback and I have to obviously apply for what I want to do. And what I want to do is, um, um, I have to, I have to, I have to get away from this. You guys don't like the desktop stuff. You guys think it's boring. You think it's overrated. You think all these things. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you guys this. Um, I, you know, it, there's no point. Uh, people complain about a lot of stuff, and I, and I, you know, I take feedback and I take results and all that stuff. So I'll go back to spamming desktop stream at some point. You know, um, farted. Sorry. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it's just like. I don't think that I want to do this. I don't think that I want to do this anymore. But then again, I could be wrong. I'm very bipolar, if you guys haven't noticed. Very wishy-washy. Um, I don't like to be put on a leash. So meaning, maybe, 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 maybe we do do uh, a balance of things. But, you know, I've always tried balancing things. But you guys said you didn't like January and February of this year. And this year was a balance. I, I traveled uh, in January. I went to LA. Um, oh, sorry, it was that February. I traveled and I did stuff and all these things. And you guys said you didn't like that. You didn't like January, February. You didn't like that. So I don't know what you guys like. But now you're saying you like it. So I don't fucking know. The point is, I'm probably not going to be... I don't fucking know. How do I say this? You're, you're, you're just going to see difference. You're going to see a difference. I'm constantly changing. I'm constantly changing what I want to do and what I want to stream and all that stuff. Um, and, and, and that's it. And that's it, man. Um, I don't really have anything more to say or what I want to do. I just really... I'm not retiring. No, 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 I'm not. But, like, guys, like, if I'm, for example, streaming three to four times a week, 
my schedule would kind of look like, oh, boxing event this day, and then like this day I would have this, this day I would do this. Like I would just kind of be going for like the viral shit. I would just be going for the viral shit, bro. I would just only like want to do the viral shit. I wouldn't really care to do shit like this. I would from time to time, but like I would really focus on going viral, 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 viral. Shit's that's dope, cool. Cause like, dude, like at the end of the day, I don't like, I, I, you know what I mean? I would want to do the cool shit. Traveling is definitely what we will be doing. Staying in one spot is really stupid. Staying in one spot is really dumb. If I just basically, all right, guys, see you, everyone. I'm going to LA or see you, everyone. I'm going to Miami. Stupid. Why not, why, not, why not travel? Why not go places that nobody's, you know, that this community's never seen and stuff like that? That's the way you do it. Um, I just think as of right now, we, we take a break from, you know, steak. And we, 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 we basically just, we're like, yo, instead of throwing all this extra money in steak, why don't we build other cool shit like boxing events? And why don't we put the money there? Like, I put it into the content. Put the money into the content. That's what we do. We put the money and we use what we have. We have two high of networking. We have two high of plans. We, we, we want to do cool shit. Like, Tav called me today. He's like, yo, Aiden, I got an idea. Boom, I just, Aiden, I'm flowing. When we get the warehouse back, let's do last black person to keep their hand, get their hand off the Hellcat. They keep it. Money. You have that in the background. You have other cool shit in the background. So it's fucking fire. Good ideas. Stuff like this is what's amazing because what you could do is I could constantly be giving back and putting money into the content, but it's like cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> the warehouse is a failure because we did it wrong. What was the best thing out of the warehouse? Three, two, the boxing. Imagine three to four other cool shits like the boxing. Like, imagine that. And the boxing wasn't done to its fullest potential. I need to hire a team for the boxing. I need to put a brand new team on it. The last brand risk promotions, the number three was the best one we did. Production, we had an actual team. Now that we have the literal licensing for all this stuff, it's perfect. Now I can't, guys, you gotta understand, it demotivated the fuck out of me. Tom knows this, like, it made me genuinely sad. We were killing it in the boxing, we got shut down. Like, it, you gotta understand, like, you, think, you didn't think that I wanted to keep doing that? Like, of course I did, bro. It got shut down. Like, and it was me being stupid and just not taking it seriously. Like, whatever. It's not fuck ASI. Because now that we're legit, we can't get shut down. Now I can do it as many times as I want. There's no shutting down. There's no shutting down at all. You know what I mean? And maybe one day, Misfits versus Brand Risk. Like, we do some cool shit. Brand Risk will be back. And, and, and I promise you guys it's back. I'm licensed. I'm an official license. Uh, uh, I'll have a license now, guys. It's legit. It's everything's real. It's it's a, it's a legit committee. It's 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 a legit league. It's everything. So I'm very happy, bro, about that. I'm very very happy. I'm very very happy. Um, the mall stream is great. Again, the mall stream. All these stuff is very very cool, guys. It's great. Um, we'll bring back brand risk. We'll probably do it. November, December. Me and Todd were speaking about it. We want to basically give you guys the best thing. But the best that you guys, you guys deserve this is you guys deserve traveling and events and all these cool things. Um, like, for example, um, I want to start this with XQC. You guys see on YouTube all these big celebrities having these poker games. Why don't we do our own poker game? Why don't we do get a streamer poker game? We'll get all these other guys. I got more money than these other companies. Eh, probably not. But Eddie got more money than these companies. Like, it's just cool shit we could do. We could get so creative with everything, bro. There's so much more we could do. Why do we have to limit ourselves to little things like on Discord? And they're great, guys. They're great. Like these Discord segments are really cool, but they're just not something you just have to like do every day. Like I'll be real, I'm too big and I'm too rich to be doing this shit, bro. Like with my network and all this shit, like there's no point for me to not do this. And this is Tava in every day in my head. Tava obviously didn't like this Canada era. He just thinks like it's, and I agree with him, bro. Like he wants what's best for me. He, he does. And he's like, yo, dude, like, and I'll be real, guys, this Canadian era, this Canada era was relied a lot on my friends. And um, I love them to death, but this is the last time I will ever rely on them for anything. And I mean this. Um, they will have no say, and, and, and they will have, probably won't be on my content for a very long time after this. I, I learned my lesson very big time with this because now I'm alone. Okay? Now I'm alone. Now, now I'm basically, like, like it's, it, it hurts, bro. That's why I'm sad. And, but it's just a reality check, right? It's a reality check. Um, and it, dude, they're, they're really good people. They're really fucking good people. I, I have a relationship for them off stream, whatever. But on stream, I'm just gonna really, really polish, just polish this shit and make this shit real, bro. Like I wanna, I wanna basically. You always say this. I don't think you understand how serious I am this time. Like, 
I've always set, saw the good in people. I'm like, oh, fuck, I feel bad for him. He's a good dude. Let's help him out. I don't feel that at all for anyone anymore um, because I realized that whenever you put yourself, sorry, you don't put yourself first, you get fucked every time. And that's anything in life. So what I could tell you guys is this. When I stop my steak deal in 18 more days, when I stop these desktops in 18 more days, I'm meeting everyone in, my, in, in, in Miami at the warehouse. SSB as a whole, no more steak deal for anyone. They have their deals because of me. I'm not allowing it to be streamed for easy money anymore for them. No, you'll see. You'll know that I'm serious when, I, when there's no gambling on my platform. You'll see. So when you guys see that, when you, when you do see that, that's when you'll really be like, oh, fuck, Aiden's really meaning it. I, I talked to Top today. After these 61 days, I'm, I'm going to take a, a break from steak. Will I do it again if I want to travel to fucking Mexico or whatever? I'll do it for a stream or so. I'm not basing it anymore off my content anymore. It's holding me back. It's holding me back. And, um, you know, it's, it's really sad for me because, how do I say this, bro? I got to lead by example. You guys know, you guys remember in LA when I was uh, there, part one, but when I was blowing up, I didn't have nobody. It was me and it was really me and no manager just pulling everyone, to, getting everyone involved. And then we had a house with rice and then all this stuff. And it's like, yo, I got to do that, bro. I got to do what's best for me. We're bringing back brand risk. I'm going to bring back brand risk promotions. We're going to bring everything to life, bro. There's no point for me to literally just sit here and do this. I'm sorry, guys. It's not, it's not me. Would we do this very often? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is Aiden just talking out of his ass again? I'm not. I'm very serious um, about all this. And you guys will see when I stop gambling. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Um, I'm not being held back anymore. Um, I'm going to let Tav literally do what he wants to do. Take back the warehouse, build sets, build events, and, 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 and literally keep fucking the game up. We have unlimited money to put into events. Let's do it. What are we doing? Yeah, I'm, why am I putting a million dollars in a fucking slot machine instead of putting a million dollars into content? Genuinely, because guess what that million dollars will do? That million dollars I could put into some content, that could literally make me millions. Do you understand what I'm saying? Imagine we build brand risk up for years and years and years and years and years. Dana White, for example, they sold it, right? They sold the UFC, but he still owns a percentage of it. Same shit. Aiden, stop playing the little, like, quick little, like, few month game. Let's have fun with this shit, bro. Why did you take so long to realize this? I needed this, bro. And I don't want to just say stop and end this 18 days. We're gonna, I'm going to give you guys good discourse segments. I'm going to finish out this 18 days because I need to be a man of my word and commit. Um, and also, 18 more days of steak, and that's it. We'll make the last night a bang. On my last 61st day, we'll do like a million dollar balance. We'll go out with a fucking bang. All right? <laughs> but I'm 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 calling it, man. I'm calling it, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish these 18 days off. Um, at least we got Call of Duty, you know, next week, which is great. We're gonna finish off these 18 days, and you guys are gonna see some cool shit. Of course, I want XQC to be involved in these events, guys. I need I need XQC for the poker event. It's his idea. XQC brought it to me. He said, Aiden, let's do this shit. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it, bro. Sorry, it took a long time for me to wake up. Tav has been telling me this every fucking day. And what have I been telling him? No, I need to go live and gamble. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm itching to hit a max win. Stupid. It's okay. There's always going to be time to hit a max win, guys. The max wins will come. The max wins will come when, I'm, when I take a trip to fucking, you know, Argentina or, you know, somewhere like that. Let's, 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 just, let's just take it back. Let's take it back a notch. All right? Let's take it back a notch. Let's, let's, let's start planning these events. If we can have a lot of events that we can manage and have throughout the month, then you guys have a genuine, you guys have a literal schedule. The cool thing about brand risk, if it's done properly, you guys know the day that the brand risk shit's happening. It gives you weeks, it gives you days, it gives you time to prepare for that event. I don't wanna hit you guys with last minute shit. Let's take over th this game again and let's do it the right way with these events. We have 18 days to come up with some really cool events so my team can start building stuff. So far we have two. Let's build some cool shit, guys. We have access to pretty much 90% of the network in the world just, just by, by me alone, which we all built up together as a team. And let's, 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 let's make something positive out of this, bro. And as far as my friends goes, I'm going to say this to them. Um, us all stopping steak is for the better. It's for the best. Um, I understand that you guys might be mad at me in the moment, but I want what's best for you guys. And I see that you guys are all stars in your own, in your own way. And um, there's always room to talk off stream, but... I, I needed this for me, and that's all I needed, bro. Um, and it's it's all still love. Like, it genuinely is all love. It's not, that's really all what it is. And that's it. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. All right? All right? That's it.
Anybody that has a problem with XQC can go fuck themselves, bro. That's a good friend of mine, and he's a good guy. Him and I have hung out a lot off stream and off camera and have many conversations. That's a good person. I don't keep good people around me for no reason. That's one person I can vouch and say is a great fucking human being, and he's had my back, and he's there when I need him, and that's that. So I am, I'm still doing stuff with XQC, what, what, you know, the poker shit for sure. It's going to be great. It's going to fuck it. It's going to kill it. It's, we're going to kill it. We're going to crush. We're going to absolutely crush. I promise you guys, I'm excited. I needed this. I needed, I needed today to happen. I really, really did. I needed it to happen, bro. I needed it to happen. I, ne I genuinely needed this to happen. You don't understand how much I'm, how happy I am. Because I realized this. I was so sad. I'm like, fuck. When I got that text, like, yo, it's just you at the crib. Because I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, now I'm, now I'm really alone. We started out, it was great. And, and again, guys, it's not all over. It's not over. You know, it's not. But we got to have, I got to give you guys the energy. I got to get, I got to be better. You guys don't deserve this level of Aiden. You deserve this level of Aiden. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct and we're going to build and we're going to come up with ways that we could do. You guys are going to have to bear with me for 18 more days, though. <laughs> so we have 18 more days of this. I'll make it cool. We'll still do some Discord shit. But you're going to have to bear with me. You're going to have to bear with me. We're going to probably have to do the poker shit in Vegas. Like I said, guys, it's cool to travel. It's very cool to travel. It's cool to travel. It's okay to travel. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not, dude, I'm, I don't want to be stuck in one place. It's not cool. If Tov says, yo, Aiden, oh, we got to be in this place in a week and a half from now, I'll fly there. It doesn't fucking matter to me. It, I could care less. I'm not going on a fucking break after these 61 days. Are you kidding me? I'm too inspired right now. Too inspired. We have 18 days to plan. Brand risk? Fuck it. Let's do a card in November. We'll do it in November. November. We'll do the first brand risk back in November. Done. If I get confirmation and everything, we'll do it in November. Done. Me and Tav are also starting another boxing thing together as well. So we have another whole, we have a whole branch, another branch of boxing. We're creating our own league. We'll do, we'll, do, we'll do actual tryouts and we'll do a big event every month. And we'll do like a fan favorite and all this cool shit. We'll create like a fight club. We'll create very fun stuff, like a contending series. You know, it's so crazy how good that brand with promotions thing was going. Bro, I'm having conversations with Dana White in real life. Like, bro, brother, you, bro, buddy, you're killing this. This is fucking great. Fucking, he sees this shit. And um, that's why we had to get our credentials. We got to be legit. We had to be legit. MMA would take forever to get credentials. Let Dana White have uh, the UFC, guys. I don't want to compete with him anyway. He'd fucking kill us. Like, he's just too fucking smart. I'm sorry. I, it, it would be crazy. It would be crazy. When I know Neon is going to Miami. Um, I, I might pop in. Um, guys, I, look. I'm not going to ditch you guys for 61 days. I'm not doing that. I did the 61 day thing for three reasons. Okay? It's not easy. To, it's not hard to guess. Number one, for me, Kavi, and Kafam to gamble, okay? <laughs> Number two, for us, to, for me to literally stream 61 days in a row to make back my 61-day loss. And number three, it, you guys can say what you want to say, but it really did force me to lock in. I, I threw myself in the deep end of a pool not knowing how to swim. I came, I, I, I came and did this thing, and I stepped into my uncomfort zone, you know? I needed this. I needed to discipline myself. Been in the gym, been locked in streaming, most consistent I've ever been. Now... It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot bit different. So you'll see what I mean. All right, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, Alex prayer part two, for sure, bro. Um, uh, I'm still talking to his team. We talk. Uh, we're we're supposed to do an IRL stream in Brazil. Um, him and I are supposed to go to Brazil and do some cool shit. I I'm still waiting. Uh, we're going back and forth right now. So if you genuinely enjoyed streaming you wouldn't need to you wouldn't need to push people to stream with people for ideas the start of canada i could see you enjoyed streaming and it faded because that's when people around me stopped enjoying it as well you could tell and i love combi but you could tell he didn't stop trying he just completely stopped he he would just go live and gamble and then get off like like and, and honestly i could say the same like in the beginning maybe the content con quality was great you know what i mean but look but that i'm speaking for combi he could speak for me he can give me his input but i i gotta go back to miami and i gotta show these people who the fuck this community is and what the fuck we're on. You guys deserve it. You guys deserve it. Damn what, what's going on? Cheezer, uh, I'm gonna take a break from steak uh, after my 61 days. Um, I'm gonna opt. You, 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 you're gonna have to negotiate yourself, man, your own deal, whatever you wanna do, cheese. But I'm, 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 I'm dropping the whole entire SSB 
steak deal and all this stuff. But you can, you can look, dude, you, you're still a fucking superstar. You do your own thing, bro. You get your own bag and do your own thing. Um, and that's that, man. I'm going to grind and put on these cool events and shit. Unfortunately, Cheezer, I have to. I have no choice. I want to have fun streaming. You guys have to fucking admit. Even with... I can never gamble. Quit gamble. I don't, I don't know what you're on right now. Yo, chat. D just, just, just hold on, Cheezer. You cannot... You guys have to all admit. Every brand risk promotions was fun to watch. It, whether you knew the fighters or not, it was just so fun to watch. It was just fun. I had so much fun watching that. Like, it was just fun. You know, and I'm gonna cut a deal with Steak on the side. Be like, yo, all right, cool. Let's now that you guys know a month in advance, you know what I mean? Like, and I cut my steak though completely. Let's just put the bets on steak. It's that simple, bro. We can do fun shit like that. Like, we can create partnerships instead of me sitting here going like this. I'm just so uh, yeah. <laughs> But nah, dude, I, I, look, this era has been fun. It's been great. It's been great. I don't want to sit here and say it's been horrible. I'm just a little bit, you know what? Let me tell you guys something right now. Everything good happens out of everything. And I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to go into detail. But uh, I'm happy this all happened. Thank you to my friends for helping me find out what I really need to do. I'm not going to put others before me anymore into making decisions about myself. I'm not. I'm not going to let others get in my head. Nope. There's no point. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I also want to say W. Sneeko. He's a great person to have around. He's, he's a great, great person. Him and I will do our own event for sure together. Sneeko is a great person to have, be around. And, and, and I, can, I can say that him and I are already talking about doing some cool shit. Which I'm hyped for. And, and one thing you guys can tell about Sneeko, he wants to grind. He wants to grind. It's not even like, like, I don't have to force him. I don't have to fucking spam his phone and fucking tell him to stream. He's going to just stream. He's gonna stream. He's gonna fucking stream. He's gonna do his thing. When the what the noise we made with this brand rich shit, we had to, everyone was calling my phone. Yo, Aiden, let me get on this next one. Let me get on this next one. Let's create like five of those motherfuckers, bro. Let's create some crazy shit. Let's create. Let's fucking go crazy. There was a time when you motherfuckers were riding for me like no other, bro. I made I made so much fucking money from these clothes. We could just. Keep going, keep building this shit up. Keep going crazy. The point I'm trying to say is, you guys were fucking with brand risk as a whole. You guys were fucking with the movement. You were fucking with all this shit. So guys, all I'm telling you is enjoy, enjoy, uh, enjoy these last uh, 18 days. You know, it's still a long time. It's still like three weeks, bro. Enjoy these three weeks. But I do, if you guys want to start helping me brainstorm from some cool events, let's do it, bro. I would love for you guys to be involved. Um, Todd, matter of fact, we have 18 days. Let's let's paint that fucking that wall, bro. I don't care. I'll pay, bro. I don't like this white fucking wall. And let's get a better lightning system. This fucking white wall. Let's paint this wall, bro. Let's paint that fucking wall. Let's paint this fucking wall. Let's let's get like a boxing wall, like a cool boxing wall. Jake Future even said yes. All right. Well, let's start painting it tomorrow. Just tell me when I'll approve it for tomorrow. And some of you guys are gonna miss this era with the Canadian flags, man. Some of you guys are going to miss this era a lot, man. You're going to miss it. I'm going to miss it too because, look, the consistency part of things, yeah, it was great. Like, not being able to be live every day, yeah, 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 you know? Like, I'll still do desktops, you know what I mean? But, like, I want to focus on events. Like, why are we not focusing on events? This is all Tav wanted me to say. I know he's jumping around his fucking Jewish shit. You know why? Because that, Jew, that Jewish fuck had a percentage of brand risk. I know he doesn't care about the money. I know he doesn't. Yeah, he does. But point is, he 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 loves this shit, bro. Like, let me ask you a question: Is there ever a chance in the world where you see guy, where you guys can see Brand Risk selling out venues, just selling out some venues in, in Florida or New York? Do you guys ever see that or no? I don't 
oh shit, people are, some people are putting yes, some people are putting no. So if I had a main event like DDG versus Pretty Boy Fredo, and I had like a halftime performance, and I had, I don't know, fucking Sexy Red, or just, I don't fucking know, perform. You're telling me that people would not pull up to that? I think they would. I think a small venue people pull up. I think they would. I think they would. I think they would. It just matters about the hype and all this shit. I think they would. I'm just giving you an example off the top of my head. DDG wanted to fight Fredo. Fredo said no. Jake Future, I think you and Pretty Boy Fredo are close. Jake Future, ask Pretty Boy Fredo if he would fight on the return of Brand Risk, which will be November. <clears throat> Why y'all laughing at that? Sneeko said he would fight. Don't ask me to fight. I'll fight Neon. I'll fight Neon. Me and Neon can fight. I'll fight Neon. You said what, Sambom? Yeah, man. We're gonna we're gonna take this shit to the next level. I think we go even crazier. <clears throat> 